this point, we are all ready to leave 2020 in the rearview mirror. Yep. Goodbye. And of <laughs> course, develop some healthy habits in the coming new year. Joining us with some tips on how to do that is nutrition coach at Bliss by Wellness, Jess Wallison. Thanks for being with us, Jess. Hi, I'm so happy to be here. Absolutely. Okay, so first off, what do you think we should acknowledge when it comes to the year of 2020? We've been through so much, and I think in order to get rid of it, we have to acknowledge it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So 2020 really gave us the opportunity to slow down. We may not have planned to slow down, but we're now taking so much um, that we might have taken for granted and we're appreciating it more. So really good moments to reflect, to see how we grow and to take those things into 2021 with us. Right. It challenged us. It tested us. And with all of those things, it really took us out of our comfort zone. Right. So uh, with that in mind, are there any key lessons that we should actually be taking with us into this new year? Yes, absolutely. So I have five things that are very, very easy to implement for pretty much anyone. Okay. So I think that these would be the first one is let's focus on our gut health. Um, if you don't know it and you don't want to get into the science, your gut is really your second brain. So it all starts there. The one thing that everyone can do before your coffee, before anything else in the morning, warm lemon water. Very simple, hmm. but very inexpensive. And it will set your gut up to be healthy for the entire day. The second one is let's talk about mental health. So when we're talking about movement, yes, of course there's physical benefits, but when you have those stressed out moments or you feel that challenge arising, why not look to movement, even if it's walking around a grocery store and really release that. That way your stress is released and you feel good um, going into anything else you have to conquer for the day. Just don't week. stress eating. Don't, don't yeah. stress eat while you're walking around that grocery store. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, never go hungry, they say that. <laughs> <laughs> So the third one would be get in tune with your thoughts. So you might be someone who journals regularly or you might be someone who has no idea where to start. Then this tip is for you. So each morning, if you can just, or whether it's morning, night, give yourself five minutes and write down one thing that's positive about your day and one thing that's weighing on your mind because we all know that there's a lot weighing on our minds. Mm -hmm. Once you do that daily, you're really setting yourself up to be able to check in and reflect and hey, might turn into a journal uh, routine for the rest of the year. Yeah, a lot of people say when you journal, you should do that. Like, and I saw the, the video there, that gratitude journal, which, which you talked about. Um, how does that truly set your mind up for positive things? Because people just rave about it. I'm still trying to get into it. Yes, so when you know that every single day that you are on the line to write something down that you're grateful for or positive for, your brain starts to get wired that way and you'll actually start to look for things throughout your day knowing that you're going to want to write it down. So oh, okay. that way, every single thing that you do, you're looking through a new lens mm -hmm. of gratitude and it, over time that just becomes second nature. I love that. Yeah. Okay. And obviously, as you mentioned, this year it really took us out of our comfort zone. It forced us to slow down because mm -hmm. there's a lot of things that we usually do that we can't. Um, how do we really focus on slowing down and enjoying life? Because the hope is that come 2021, we'll be able to do more. But how do we always keep this focus on being present and being very intentional with our time? Yes, so the word no is something that maybe we're not comfortable with, but there's a really good, powerful thing that you can do um, at least once a week, book you time. So in that schedule, in that planner, even when it gets to the point where you may be running around like crazy, or even on a day you have nothing to do, give yourself an hour that it's just about you. And that hour, pick what you wanna do, write down in a journal, um, possibly, go contact a friend, take a walk. I've personally started watching the sunrise and I feel mm -hmm. like that's something I'm purely doing for me that I would have never thought to do or to mm -hmm. necessarily schedule in. So think about those things and don't let them go when your schedule does pick up. Make sure that you have that time for yourself. I like that watching mm -hmm. the sunrise. Sometimes we just, you know, assume that it's going to be there, mm -hmm. which we do each and every morning, but it's a marvelous thing to see and it will set your day up with positive thoughts. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks for these great tips. We appreciate it. Of course. Thank you. Have a happy new year. You too. Bye.